कम टू पीडिया वर्ल्ड डॉट कॉम दिस इज सॉम जज एन आई यू आर ऑनलाइन बायोलॉजी ट्विटर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस एंड वेरिएशन इनकम्प्लीट डोमिनेंस वेन एक्सपेरिमेंट्स ऑन पीस वेर रिपीटेड यूजिंग अदर ट्रेड्स इन अदर प्लान इट वॉज फाउंड दैट समटाइम्स द एफ वन हैड अ फिनो टाइप दैट डिड नॉट रिसम्बल एदर ऑफ द टू पेरेंट्स एज वॉज इन बिटवीन द टू Incomplete dominance is a form of intermediate inheritance in which one allele for a specific trait is not completely expressed over its paired allele. This result in a third phenotype in which the expressed physical trait is a combination of the dominant and recessive phenotype. The inheritance of flower color in dog flowers, snap dag is a good example to understand the incomplete dominance. here you can see a mono hybrid cross between a red flower which carrying homozygous capital r r genotype and a white flower which carry homozygous small r r genotype were crossed when the f1 progeny was produced that f1 progenies are all pink in color they are heterozygous capital r small r in nature when the f1 was again self pollinated the f2 resulted in the ratio of one red flower with homozygous capital r capital r two pink flower with heterozygous capital r small r and one white flower with homozygous small r r genotype here the genotype ratio were exactly as we would expect in any mendelian monohybrid cross but the phenotype ratio had changed from the 3 is to 1 that is the dominant is to recessive ratio what happened was the capital r was not completely dominant over the small r and this made it possible to distinguish the heterozygous capital r small r as pink color from the homozygous capital r capital r red flower and homozygous small r small r white flower codominance till now we were discussing about crosses where the f1 resemble either of the two parents that is dominance or was in between that is incomplete dominance but in the case of codominance the f1 generation resembles both parents in codominance an additional phenotype is produced however both the alleles are expressed completely for example heterozygous chickens have both black and white feathers and heterozygous flowers having both red and white petals the allele for feather color are codominant neither dominant nor recessive as you can see in the figure below neither allele is masked in the heterozygous chickens you can notice here the codominant alleles are written as capital letters with superscript fb for black feathers and fw for white feathers as the punnett square shows the heterozygous chicken have both fb and fw allele combination similarly in the heterozygous codominant flower also have both the capital r and capital uh, w that is the white petal genotype present in it another good example is different types of red bloods that determine the abo blood grouping in human beings abo blood groups are controlled by the gene i the plasma membrane of the red blood cells have sugar polymers that protrude from its surface and the kind of sugar is controlled by the gene the gene i has three alleles the capital i a capital i b and the small i the alleles capital i a and capital i b produces a slightly different form of sugar while the allele small i does not produce any sugar because humans are diploid organisms each person possesses any two of three i gene alleles the capital i a and i b are completely dominant over the small i in other words when capital i a and small i a present only capital i a expresses because small i does not produce any sugar and 
when capital I B and small i are present, the capital I B expresses. When capital I A and capital I B are present together, they both express their own types of sugar. This is because of co-dominance. Hence, red blood cells have both A and B types of sugar. Since there are three different alleles, there are six different combinations of these three alleles are possible. And a total of six different genotypes for the human blood ABO is present. In the picture, you can see that there are six different types of genotypes are present for the blood group. Multiple alleles is also present in the ABO blood group. Here you can see that there are more than two, that is three alleles governing the same character. Since in an individual only two alleles can be present, multiple alleles can be found only when the population studies are made. So this is a good example of multiple allele also. Inheritance of two genes. Till now we were discussing about inheritance of single gene. Mendel also worked with and crossed pea plants that differed in two characters as seen, seen in cross between a pea plant that has seeds with yellow color and round shaped seeds and one that has seeds of green color and wrinkle shape. Here the yellow color was dominant over the green and round shape dominant over the wrinkle shape. These results were identical to those that he got when he made separate monohybrid crosses between yellow and green seeded plants and also he crossed between the round and wrinkled seeded plants. He got the same result here also in this dihybrid cross. The genotypic symbols are capital Y for the dominant yellow seed color and the small y for recessive green seed color and capital R for the round shaped seeds and small letter R for the wrinkled seed shape. The genotype of the parents can then be written as capital RRYY and small letter RRYY. The gametes capital RY and small RY unite on fertilization to produce F1 hybrid capital R small r capital Y small y. Here you can see then the F1 generation the, geno the genotype is the heterozygous. When Mendel self hybridized the F1 plants he found that 3 by 4 of the F2 plant had yellow seeds and 1 by 4 had green. The yellow and green color segregated in a 3 is to 1 ratio. Then round and wrinkled seed sheep also segregated in a 3 is to 1 ratio just like a monohybrid cross. So here you can see that in the phenotypic ratio round yellow is to round green is to wrinkled yellow is to wrinkled green is equal to 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. What is law of independent assortment? In the dihybrid cross, the phenotypes round yellow, wrinkled yellow, round green, wrinkled green appeared in the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. You have seen in the last picture. Such a ratio was observed for several pairs of characters that Mendel studied. The ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 can be derived as a combination series of 3 yellow, 1 green with 3 round, 1 wrinkled. The derivation can be written as 3 round is to 1 wrinkled, 3 yellow is to 1 is equal to 9 round yellow is to 3 wrinkled yellow is to 3 round green is to 1 wrinkled green. Based upon the such observations on dihybrid crosses, crosses between plants differing in two traits, that is a dihybrid cross. Mendel proposed a second set of generalization that we call the Mendel's law of independent assortment. In this law, when two pairs of traits are combined in a hybrid, segregation of one pair of character is totally independent of the other pair of characters. 
uh, in the punnett square uh, we can, can we can see this independent assortment very uh, easily it is used as a effective method to check the independent segregation of different pairs of genes during meiosis and the production of eggs and pollen in the f1 heterozygous capital r small r capital y small y plant consider the segregation of one pair of gene with capital r and small r uh, genotype 50% of the gametes having the gene capital R and the other 50% have small r. Now we said each gametes having either capital R or small r. It should also have the allele capital Y or small y. The important thing to remember here is that the segregation of 50% capital R and 50% small r is independent from the segregation of 50% capital Y and 50% small Y plants. Therefore, 50% of, of small R bearing gametes has capital Y and other 50% has small Y. Similarly, 50% of capital R bearing gametes has the capital Y and the other 50% has the small Y. Thus, there are 4 genotypes of the gametes. That is 4 types of pollen and 4 types of egg. The 4 types are Capital R, capital Y, capital R, small y, small R, capital Y and small R, small y. Each with a frequency of 25% or 1 by 4th of the total gametes produced. When you write down the 4 types of X and pollen on the 2 sides of a it is very easy to derive the composition of the cycle that give rise to F2 plus. That's why I told Punnett square is a very effective method to study the law of independent assortment. Uh, why the Mendel's law become a failure? Mendel published his works on inheritance of characters in 1865, but for several reasons it remained unrecognized till 19. Firstly, communication was not easy at that time as it is now in those days and his work could not be widely published. Secondly, his concept of genes or factors in the Mendel's world as stable and discrete units that control the expression of trait and of the pairs of the allele which did not blend with each other was not accepted by his contemporaries as an explanation for the apparently continuous variation seen in the nature. Thirdly, Mendel's approach of using mathematics to explain the biological phenomena was totally new and unacceptable to many of the biologists of that time. Finally, though Mendel's work suggested that factors or genes were discrete units, he could not provide any physical proof for the existence of such factors or say what they are made of. Chromosomes In 1900, three scientists, Beveris, Poirens, Von Schermark, independently rediscovered Mendel's result on inheritance of characters. Also, by this time, due to advancement in microscopy that were taking place, scientists were able to carefully observe the cell division. This led to the discovery of structures in the nucleus that appeared to double and divide just before its cell division. These were called as chromosomes or colored bodies as they are visualized by staining. By 1902, the chromosome movement during meiosis had been worked out. Walter Sutton and Theodore Bovary noted that the behavior of chromosomes was parallel to the behavior of genes and used chromosome movement to explain the Mendel's law. During mitosis, chromosomes will undergo equational division and during meiosis, it will undergo reduction division that we already studied in the previous video. The important things to remember are that chromosomes as well as genes occur in pairs. The two alleles of a gene pair are located on homologous sites on the homologous chromosomes. What are genes and chromosomes? What are the major differences between genes and chromosomes? 
a gene a gene is a segment of dna containing the code used to synthesize protein genes are passed on to an organism's offspring so that its traits are inherited most biological traits are under the influence of many genes chromosome a chromosome is made of a very long strand of dna and contains many genes or 100 to thousands of genes the genes on each chromosomes are arranged in a particular sequence and each gene has a particular location on the chromosome and that particular location is called locus chromosomal theory of inheritance sutton and boveri argued that the pairing and separation of a pair of chromosomes would lead to the segregation of a pair of factors they carried sutton united the knowledge of chromosomal segregation with mendelian principle and called it as the chromosomal theory of inheritance sutton carefully calculated the number of chromosome combination is just the same as the number of combination that would be possible in gametes and in of the combination of factors mendel postulated in zygote with different number of chromosome in explaining the result of crosses with pea plants rediploid cells he found that the number of possible chromosome combination is just same as the number of combination of factors mendel postulated in explaining the result of crosses with pea plant here you can see the independent assortment of chromosome uh, into the gametes two possibilities are given the first possibility one long orange and short green chromosome and long yellow and short cro chromosome at the same pole is c in the meiosis 1 it is segregating and in the meiosis 2 you can see that it is separating towards and the germ cell each germ cell is carrying each allele wow, like one with a long orange and a small green uh, and the other one also and the other two are with a long yellow and small red the possibility 2 one long orange and short red chromosome and long yellow and short green chromosome at the same pole here also you can see that in the meiosis root is separating and in the germ cells uh, you can see uh, the four alleles that is uh, the first two having the orange and red combination and the second two germ cells have the yellow and green combination experimental verification for chromosomal theory of inheritance experimental verification of the chromosomal theory of inheritance was done by thomas hunt morgan and his colleagues clue to the discovery the basis for the variation that sexual reproduction produce morgan worked with tiny fruit flies called drosophila melanogaster which were found very suitable for such studies they could be grown on simple synthetic medium in the laboratory they complete their life cycle in about 2 weeks and in a single mating could produce a large number of progeny flies also there was a clear differentiation of sexes the male and female flies are easily distinguishable also it has many types of heredity variation that can be seen with low power microscope here you can see a pictorial representation of a male drosophila melanogaster and a female drosophila melanogaster linkage morgan carried out several dihybrid crosses in drosophila to study the genes that were sex linked the crosses were similar to dihybrid crosses carried out by the mendel in peace for example morgan hybridized yellow bodied white eyed female to brown bodied red eyed males and he intercrossed their f1 progeny he observed that the two genes did not segregate independently of each other and the f2 ratio deviated very significantly from the 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio expected when the two genes are independent 
we have seen that in the mendel's experiment morgan and his group knew that the genes were located on the x chromosome and so quickly that when the two genes in a dihybrid cross were situated on the same chromosome the proportion of the parental gene combination were much higher than the non parental type morgan attributed this due to the physical association or linkage of two genes and coined the term linkage to descri- describe the physical association of the genes on a chromosome and the term recombination to describe the generation of non parental gene combination here you can see the gene 1 and gene 2 are linked in the second chromosome cell it is not linked because both are in different chromosome the gene 1 is in one chromosome and gene 2 in the another chromosome and third figure you can see that both the genes are in the same chromosome but it have a so much distance so it is not linked up gene that means for the linkage is the genes whose locker nearer to each other are less likely to be separated onto different chromatids during chromosomal crossover and therefore said to be genetically linked up in other words the nearer two genes are in chromosome the lower is the chance of a swap occurring between them they are more likely they are to be inherited together physical crossing over during meiosis one is a normal event the effect of this event is to rearrange heterozygous homologous chromosomes into new combination the term used for crossing over is called recombination recombination can occur between any two genes on a chromosome the amount of crossing over is a function of how close the genes are to each other on the chromosome if two genes are far apart for example at opposite ends of the chromosome crossover and non crossover events will occur in equal frequency genes that are close together undergo fewer crossing over events and non crossover gametes will exceed than the number of crossover gametes morgan and his group also found that the event when genes are grouped on the same chromosome some genes are very tightly linked that show very low recombination that is the cross a seen in the picture and while the others are loosely linked and show higher recombination like in the cross p here you can see the pictorial representation of how the linkage and crossing over which was recombination is happening sex determination the mechanism of sex determination has always been a puzzle before genetics the initial clue about the genetic or chromosomal mechanism of sex determination can be traced back to some of the experiments carried out in insects in fact the cytological observations made in a number of insects led to the development of the concept of genetic or chromosomal basis of sex determination hengi in 1891 could trace a specific nuclear structure all through spermatogenesis in a few insects and it was also observed by him that 50% of the sperm receive this structure after spermatogenesis whereas the other 50% sperm did not receive that hengi gave a name to this structure as the x body but he could not explain its significance further investigations by other scientists led to the conclusion that the x body of hanging was in fact a chromosome and that is why it was given the name x chromosome it was also observed that in a large number of insects the mechanism of sex determination is of x zero type that is all x bears an additional x chromosome beside the other chromosome that is the autosomes on the other hand some of the sperms bear the x chromosome where some do not x fertilized by the sperms having an x chromosome became females and those fertilized by sperms that do not have an x chromosome become males due to the involvement of the x chromosome in the determination of sex 
it was designated to be the sex chromosome and the rest of the chromosomes were named as autosomes different types of sex determination the process of sex determination by allosomes that sex chromosomes is called the genetics or chromosomal sex determination it is brought about by heterogametes which is the formation of two kinds of gametes in one of the two sexes these are uh, different mechanisms of chromosomal sex determination they are the xy x0 cw and c0 the xy is seen in the humans the x0 is seen in the grasshopper the cw is seen in the chicken the z0 is seen in different moths and all the xy type of sex determination in a number of insects and mammals including man xy type of sex determination is seen where both male and female have same number of chromosomes among the males an x chromosome is present but its counterpart is distinctly smaller and called the y chromosome females however have a pair of x chromosomes both males and females bear same number of autosomes in this case hence the males have autosomes plus xy chromosome while the females have autosomes plus xx genotype in human beings and in drosophila the males have one x and one y chromosome whereas the females have a pair of x chromosomes besides autosomes x0 type the x0 sex determination system is a system that determines sex of offsprings among grasshoppers crickets cockroaches and some other insects in this system there is only one sex chromosome referred to as x males only have one x chromosome then they genotype x0 while the females have two x chromosome then genotype is xx the zero sometimes the letter o signifies the lack of a second x maternal gametes always contain an x chromosome so the sex of the animal or spring depends on whether a sex chromosome happen to be present in the male gamete its sperm normally contain either one x chromosome or no sex chromosomes at all in a variant of this system most individuals have two sex chromosomes xx and an hermaphrodite producing both x and sperm with which they can fertilize themselves while rare individuals are male and have only one sex chromosome that is x0 type the model organism can you row have this elegans a nematode frequently used in the biological research is one such organism some drosophila species also having the x0 males they are told to arise by the loss of chromosome y the cw type The CW sex determination system is a system that determines the sex of offspring in birds, some fish, and crustaceans such as the giant river prawn, some insects including butterflies and some moths, and some reptiles including komodo dragons. In the CW system, the ovum determines the sex of the offspring. In contrast to the XY sex determination system or X0 sex determination system. where in the sperm determines the sex the letter z and w are used to distinguish this system from the xy systems males are homogametic sex zz while females are heterogametic sex zw in this type z0 type the z0 sex determination system is a system that determines the sex of offspring in several moths In those species males having two z chromosome where females have only one that that is causing the z0 type thank you in the next video we will be discussing about mutations genetic disorders mendelian disorders etc